Already in the ring is Rick Edson. He's wearing the green trunks trimmed in yellow. He's waiting on his opponent, Gary Johnson, as we're coming up on the fifth fight of, of a nine-fight nine um, card tonight. And here comes Edson's opponent, Gary Johnson. He's got the black trunks trimmed, it looks like, with the Irish, uh, actually Italian flags colors, Polly. Be it as it may, no, you see the stripes on uh, red, red, white, and green there. Ladies and gentlemen, what, this is here's the decision. In the red corner to my right, wearing black trunks with the red, white, and green trim, he's wearing in at 140, one, one half pounds from North Preston, Nova Scotia. A warm welcome for Gary Johnson. Johnson. His opponent in the blue corner to my left, wearing green trunks with yellow trim, weighing 148 pounds from Laconia, New Hampshire, Rick Edson. Edson. So, Rick Edson fighting out of Laconia, New Hampshire. Sounds like he has a little cheering se section over there, Paulie. And Gary Johnson out of, from Nova Scotia, North Preston, Nova Scotia. They're both fight. Rick Edson's 148 pounds as Johnson's 140. So we're underway. First round action here at the 145 pound weight division. Oh, a left hand landed by Johnson on Edson. Seems to be have Edson back on his heels. Now he's kind of in the corner. Well, I noticed uh, anybody from Nova Scotia usually a good fighter, and this uh, Johnson looks like a pretty good fighter. Good stance, good movements, and uh, and his uh, eyes are perked right on on his opponent. And uh, Edson is uh, looks like a pretty good fighter himself right now, as we saw, see the beginning. But this uh, Johnson looks like a very very seasoned fighter. And and as I said in the beginning, when you're from Nova Scotia, you know you're in for a good fight. Johnson, he he he's. Kind of rubbing his nose with the thumbs of the gloves. Looks like an old, old, old pro down there, Paulie. He's uh, when you say his stance, what, what, what do you mean by that? Like the way his weight is distributed, or, or waiting for the guy to come in? Well, he's, he's got a perfect stance, and he's very, very, very alert. You can see the the uh, uh, respect he has in himself and his uh, and his ability. He, he's con very, very confident looking, and uh, and you can see that when you see a good fighter that he walks in that ring and presents himself with a lot of confidence in himself. His posture, his uniform, everything seems to just uh, glow with something, and that's the, what I picked out. And I can see that he, he's going to be a good, a good fighter, and it's going to be a good fight here. He seems to be slipping punches as well, Paulie. That there's a, a, a definite art to doing that, I'm sure. Well, it definitely is. That's a lot, a lot of practice and, and, and a sign of a great fighter that he can slip punches and move in on them, too. But uh, I noticed one thing. He's, get, uh, he's, get, he's getting caught with some uh, left hooks by uh, Rick Edson, and Edson keeps landing good left hooks like that. Could take uh, Johnson out, and uh, Johnson's, uh, as you know, as, as good as he's looking as a fighter up there, is very open uh, to get hit, and that's a, that's a, a, a good sign. He seems to be uh, uh, dropping his right hand right now, and he's going to be caught with them left hooks, so he just got caught one. But a good fighter, and uh, we're going to see things happen here. Rick Edson, he has been landing that left hand, Paul. He's le he left led with the left hand right there, and then that overhand right caught the chin. Caught the chin of Johnson. Johnson a little bit wobbly, but Edson, he seems to be waiting to counter punch on on, on Johnson down here. Yep, uh, Edson is a, a little shot of shot of reach and everything else, and he's a, but, but seems to be a strong fighter. Uh, uh, Johnson has a, a much longer reach, and uh, he's setting back uh, as Edson's uh, trying to move in on him, and uh, both of them are trying to size each other up. It's the first round. They're very. Uh, uh, Tense up there and uh, and trying to find out uh, and see some openings and where to land their punches. And uh, you see some wild swinging in the beginning just to try to land a hard punch or weaken their opponent. But they're going to settle down a little bit and start picking some good shots. Well, that'll do it for the first round of action here. Rick Edson versus Gary Johnson. And it looked, looked to me, 
Paul. In the beginning of the round, it was going Johnson's way, but but Rick Edson kind of sat there and waited to counter punch and and and, and a cut landed a couple of big left hooks. Yep, uh, you have, uh, J Johnson uh, presented himself very well as a, looking like a like a fighter and had all the composure of a good fighter. Because uh, Edson uh, is a walk-in fighter and a guy who uh, throws up uh, punches from uh, right field and left field. And uh, who's very dangerous too. And one of those punches connect uh, could uh, take this fight over in just a second. The judges unanimously gave it to the blue corner. So Rick Edson, give, no, give him the nod for the first round of this fight between Rick Edson and Gary Johnson. Seconds out, and we're coming to round two. And they're underway. Nick Previty is the referee for this fight. So, Polly, if, if the judges gave that one to Rick Edson, looks like he may be, he may be uh, working stealth as far as, as we're concerned. Look, look to me kind of like Johnson landed more punches, but they gave it to Edson. Uh, I think the reason they gave that to Edson, Edson did land some solid punches in there. Uh, Johnson uh, has delivered some good punches, but not, en not enough of them. But Johnson's uh, taking the... Uh, the view of everybody uh, by his stance is sharp looking, uh, he's very sharp, he presents himself very well, but uh, some of the uh, little rough edges that uh, Edson has, it did, Edson did land some uh, good solid wax on, on Johnson. And Johnson has to do more than just uh, show good stance and good movements, he's got to start delivering some good solid punches as well. Sure, that composure won't win him the fight every time here, Paulie, as Rick Edson has been coming in and landing landing some staunch, blow, staunch blows as that left hand landed to the body of Johnson. The, those will take their toll. There's another left hand landed to the body as Rick Edson lo looks like he, he, he's got a good composure for himself as well. He, he's starting to press the fight, is Edson. He's, he's coming right after Johnson, and Johnson just seems to want to um, counter punch and and I think Edson will take that any day. Big left hand landed by Edson, another left hand, forget about it. There it goes, down goes Gary Johnson as a big left hand by Rick Edson, floors Gary Johnson, who looks like he's out on his feet. Nick Previty is, is looking into the eyes of the fighter Johnson. Johnson right back into it, Edson all over Johnson on the far ropes. Johnson falls down on the canvas. He, he's back up on his feet. Nick Previty, the referee, wipes his hands and they're ready to go. Left hand landed once again, that's it. He's on Queer Street, forget about it, folks. Gary Johnson is all done for. Rick Edson landed a couple of big left hands and Gary Johnson didn't know where he was. Rick Edson's trainer raises his fighter in victory and that'll do it for for the fifth fight as Rick Edson just just doesn't put Gary Johnson into a place where he doesn't know where he is right now and Rick Edson circling the ring he, he's the winner and that that was that was quite a fight Rick Edson just came right back after Gary Johnson with that left hand and 